Well, I know Walter is busy, and he's a big movie star now, and he's surely got a lot of things going on, but I wondered if he was there and if he might have time to talk to us for a little bit. Yeah, as, as a matter of fact, uh, he didn't say, hang on a sec, let me see. Okay. Hello? 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 Oh, sorry, this is... This is still Peter. Sorry. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Is this Walter? I, well, is this Ryan? This is Ryan. Hey, Ryan. It's Walter. Hi, Walter. It's so, hey. good. It's so good to talk uh, to you again. Hello. Hello. Greetings, fellow Muppet fanatic. <laughs> <laughs> How are you doing today, Walter? I'm pretty good, thanks. How are you? I am great because I'm talking to you. How can I not be? Oh, God. Wow, that's... Thank you. My goodness, I'm flattered. Um, and I said earlier, I told people that I met Peter, and I also met you. Well, right, who? We, we won't talk about that. It gets too confusing. <laughs> okay. um, but I also met you at Dancing with the Stars. Oh, yeah. I totally remember that. How fun was that night? That was awesome. What a great night. Very, very exciting. That was such a blast. Well, I'm glad you enjoyed it, because I did, too. <laughs> Um, I've got a few questions for you, Walter. You got a minute? Yeah, sure. Um, how did you discover your talent? Oh, oh you, you mean you mean the whistling? Yes, the whistling. Well, you know what? Actually, it was it was. Uh, well, you know, I mean, first of all, it was a movie. So, um, but the, the, the script originally had it that um, that Gary, my, my brother, played by by Jason Siegel, uh, has the idea that that I can whistle. But then we reshot the scene. And we never really see how I discover my talent. Mm -hmm. So I was thinking that probably while I was sitting backstage, it probably just, you know, I was all, it was the darkest moment of my life. You know, I just had <laughs> kind of given up on everything. Right. And then, and then I had a vision, a vision of, of how I used to whistle, you know, how I whistle uh, while we're fixing up the theater, you know. Right. And, um, <laughs> and, 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 oh, my gosh. And, and it, it hit me. It's like, wait a minute. I could, I could sing and tap dance. And, uh, <laughs> I tried it and, and I failed. And uh, how did I discover my talent? You know, it's just it's something I've always done, but I never really thought of it as a talent. I think it's the way you think about things sometimes. Right. Well, it worked out. How are you today? He said, changing the subject. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to ask you about Jim Henson. Can oh you, yeah. Do you know Do you know anything about this guy? A lot of people talk about him a whole lot, and I wondered if you could shed some light. And actually, I I know when we were shooting on Hollywood Boulevard, his picture was on these little banners on the lampposts above our heads. Oh yeah. Um, I think he was an accountant. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, I mean, I I hear his name a lot, and I hear <laughs> he was a, he was a really amazing amazing person. Um, in fact, I think some people said he was responsible for like, the Muppets in the first place. But I, I don't know how an accountant does that. Well, accountants can do a lot, and they're pretty powerful in Hollywood, so it makes sense. Oh, well, well I guess so. <laughs> There's still so much I don't know. <laughs> well, you've got I, time to I have, learn. Much, I have much to learn. <laughs> um, what are your future plans with the Muppets? Well, I, I just want to keep on doing basically what I did in the film. You know, in, in the movie, I play the world's biggest Muppet fan, and in real life, I pretty much am the world's biggest <laughs> Muppet fan. No, no offense to, to you or, or any of your readers or listeners, but... Um, None taken. I would like to keep, you know, introducing people to the Muppets that maybe don't know them. You know, there's a whole generation of kids who might not really know who these characters are, which is shocking to me, but it's true, and I want to get these guys out there. I, I would love also to bring, like, you know, modern celebrities to the Muppets and say, you know, you guys could work great together. I, um, you know, there's all these wonderful comedians that could do stuff with Fozzie. There's so many, you know, singing stars, especially with all these new, like, reality singing shows that could mm -hmm. do, you know, duets with Kermit or Miss Piggy, and, you know, or, or Ralph could accompany them on piano. I want to bring as many people as possible to the Muppets and bring the Muppets to as many people as possible. Well, that is a great answer. I guess, what would you call that, like a publicist? Yeah, a publicist or a... Uh... A, uh, yeah, a publicist. Let's go with that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I don't like to put labels on things, but um, yeah, I suppose something like that. Well, now I'm going to have to take back that label maker I got you for Christmas. What? Oh. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's probably a good idea. I don't like to label anything. Well, it's okay. Um, I, kept losing, I kept losing my coffee mug on the set because I refused to put my name on it. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's kind of a joke. I just, I just did. 
<laughs> well, it worked. It was a good joke. Really? Oh, yes. You. you could you could have a future in this industry. Oh, wow! That I well, I, I certainly hope I certainly hope so. Me too. Um, I've got a few rapid fire questions that I'm just going to shoot at you, and you give me the first thing that comes to your head. Ooh, okay, I'll try. Um, your favorite Muppet songs? Oh, um, okay. Going back, favorite favorite Muppet song would probably have to be um, uh, "Can You Picture That" from the original Muppet movie. Oh, good choice. In the new movie, it's it's "Man or Muppet," oh. or "Everything's Great," or "Man or Muppet," or "Everything's Great." <laughs> <laughs> don't don't hurt yourself. It's fine. We'll go with both. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Ooh, I bruise easy. <laughs> uh, who are your favorite Muppets to work with? Oh, come on. That's totally unfair. Uh, I mean, how, how, can, how can one possibly choose a favorite? Well, if Who's your favorite Muppet listening. to work with, Ryan? See, see how unfair that is? <laughs> no, I, it, it's favorite. Gah! <laughs> okay. well, I mean, of course, now, you know, before I met them, I, my favorite was Kermit the Frog, hands down. Mm -hmm. Hands down. And I guess... I guess I have to say my favorite to work with was also Kermit. But please, please don't tell Fozzie. Um, <laughs> I, I really enjoyed working with Fist Piggy, too, um, although she was a little, little, little intimidating. <clears throat> a little intimidating. Um, but just, just terrific, you know. Yeah. And Animal was great, too. Star startling, but great. <laughs> startling, but great. I think that's Animal to a T. Yeah. <laughs> and actually, Gonzo, see, this is the thing with favorites. I keep, you know, I'm going to keep coming up with other ideas. Gonzo was terrific because he gave me so much advice when it came to the stunts. Did, did you know that I did my own stunts? I did not know that. I thought you had a stunt double. No, no, oh. no, no. I, I did. I did them all myself. And in fact, um, Gonzo was was invaluable. He he's really really good at getting hurt, and he showed <laughs> me the best way to do it. Actually, um, he tested out the electric fence several times, and he had them keep upping the voltage so it looked more realistic. Well, I, I was wondering about that. I figured that was that looked more his speed, and I thought he might have had a hand in that. Oh yeah, he he was great. He was great. He really um, showed me how how pain was was art. <laughs> well, I'm glad someone could show you that because I certainly couldn't. Well, no, Gonzo's the one. <laughs> All right, uh, favorite piece of Muppet merchandise that you own? Ooh, well, you know, of course, I have the whole Palisades collection. Yes. I have almost every repaint, and I have I have all the Uncle Deadlies. Um, <laughs> my favorite piece. I, ha I don't have all the Signet mugs. I only have four of those mugs. You know the mugs that came out in 1978? Oh, yeah, yeah. It, it, they're from England? Uh -huh. Apparently there's like 12 of them. Some of them are incredibly rare. I only have four. That's not really my favorite. I think it's <laughs> my, my Palisades collection. I really love that thing. Those were, those were so well done, weren't they? Oh, yeah, they're just perfect. They are, they are astonishingly perfect. I have them all... On my bookshelf at home, I have them all, all arranged out. Actually, I mean, all the ones that were regular issues, I did open and play with it as instructed on the package. Yes. I, I feel it's important to follow the directions. But the ones, that, the repaints and the rare ones and the ones from, from different cons, I, I kept those. Those are all mint in box. Good. But, you know, I also love my Walter plush toy. You have one of those? Of course I have one. Are those cool? I, I feel like I have this huge family. I was at the Disney store. <laughs> one of the, I got to do some interviews in New York with Jason, and we were in New York City, and we got to go into the Disney store at Times Square, and, and there was like this, this whole rack of, of Walters, and it was, it was a little unsettling at first, and um, <laughs> actually uh, this, this, this man uh, picked me up, and he said, oh, wow, look, it's a talking Walter. And I said, no, sir, actually, I, I am Walter, please. Please put me down. And it took a very long time to convince him that I wasn't actually um, one of the dolls. <laughs> they probably didn't want to let you out of the store. Well, it was a little tricky to get out of there, yeah. <laughs> I, I, but, um, yeah, I kept setting off the, uh, the shoplifting alarm. <laughs> That's bound to happen. <laughs> probably because I took a couple of the Walters with me. <laughs> well, that, that would do it. <laughs> easy. I, I, didn't, I didn't do that. But, boy, <laughs> you know what? You never think of stuffed animals or stuffed um, – not really animals – Stuffed dolls as being um, attractive, but those, they're, they're very handsome. Yeah, they're pretty good looking. Good looking yeah. fellas. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what about your favorite Muppet movie? The Muppet movie, the original. Well, that was easy. <laughs> yeah, that was easy. Now, if you want, like, things that were done by the Muppets, I, I have to go with um, Emmett Otter's Drug Band Christmas. Oh. And Kermit was in that originally, so yeah, I would, that was actually my all time. Yeah. What about. Um... The Muppet Family Christmas. You like that one? 
Oh, that is a great one. That is a great one. But you, you asked favorite. I mean, I think yes. they're all great. Right. I, well. I love them all, but, but favorite, you know, Desert Island, it'd have to be, um, it'd have to be the Muppet movie. Um, okay, here's the last one. Think hard about this one. No pressure. <laughs> favorite Muppet fan site. Oh, my gosh. They, they have those? I didn't know those. Did. No. <laughs> favorite Muppet fan site. Are you kidding me? It, it's got to be that, 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 um, that Muppet mindset. <laughs> That's, That's a the one good... that Ryan does. Yeah, I've heard I that like one. I like that one a lot because he has really cool interviews. <laughs> yes, that is true. And <laughs> I work pretty hard on that. <laughs> hey, listen, can you do me a favor, though? Don't, don't tell my friends at, at, at Tough Pigs. Um, or, or Muppet Central that I took that I said that it was Muppet Mindset because I, I don't want to cause a rivalry or anything. No, that's fine. We're already sort of rivals, so it's, well, not really. We're lovable. Are you rivals. Really? No, we're lovable rivals. Oh, good. It's it's all friendly. It's it's a friendly rivalship. How can you have rivalries in the Muppet world? Right. Thank you. <laughs> no, we're all good friends. We have fun. Um. Okay. Do you know Angus McGonagall, the Argyle Gargoyle, who gargles Gershwin? I have not. Of course, I know who he is. I have not had the pleasure of meeting him yet. <laughs> well, I hope you do because he's one of my favorites. Oh, I hope I do too. <laughs> hey, listen, if, if, if when I do, I'll tell him you said hey. Oh, good, good. I've I've been trying to get in touch with him, but you know, his his agent is really fierce. Oh, is that right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and you know, the like that I hear, they're they're real sharks. Oh no, yeah. Seriously, some of them are real sharks. <laughs> you know, I mean. You want to? You have to die and dive. You have to go visit them in one of those uh, shark tanks. <laughs> you got to have like the cages, the shark cages things. Yeah. Ugh. That probably I get, doesn't I get go too well for you. So I don't. I don't. Yeah. I'm sorry. That probably doesn't go too well for you in the water with sharks. Yeah. No. I. I, I prefer to 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 avoid the sharks. <laughs> Although I do like visiting them at the aquariums. But sure. um. Sure. Yeah. As far as shark agents, no. I, not not for me. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Uh, do you know where I can find one of those powder blue suits you wore in the movie? Oh, mark my words, my friend. This spring, those are going to be those are going to be huge, huge. <laughs> you know, mine, mine actually, they had I, um, it, it was I had to, I found it at, at Men's Short and Tiny. <laughs> uh, you know that store, Men's Short and Tiny? Yeah, I've heard it might be a larger size, but um, uh, yeah, I I think every men's store in the world is going to start carrying those. Gosh, I hope so. And saddle shoes for men. Right, right. You got to have... the look. I think I, I think I'm I'm very fashion forward that way. I I think we may have started something. Like that. <laughs> well, I've sort of got the same hair as you, so I'm just looking for the suit now. Yeah, you do have a handsome head of hair. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> um, one last question for you, Walter. Okay. Do you have a message that you want to deliver to the Muppet fan world and all your fans and everyone who loved you in the movie? Oh my gosh, you guys are so amazing. I, I, I'm still, I still can't really wrap my head around the idea that I have fans because I am a fan. And it's kind of odd to think of a fan having fans. <laughs> I don't know. I, I think it's a mathematical impossibility. But, but as far as, you know, oh man, just keep on doing what you're doing. You guys are a, just a testament to how great the Muppets are. And, you know, as long as there are Muppet fans, there, there is still hope. <laughs> Good. Right? Yeah. No matter how dark things get, as long as there are Muppet fans keeping the Muppets alive, there's still hope. Right. Amen. I agree. That sounds kind of grandiose, but I I'm sticking with it. Well, you're kind of grandiose, so it works. Really? Uh, I don't know about that. I, I, I'm just a guy. Well, you're a good guy. Hey, thanks, Ryan. <laughs> you're, you're a good guy, too. Well, thank you, Walter. I appreciate yeah, that. Thank you. Well, Walter and I, Peter. I'm sorry, I, I, I hate to cut this short, but I've got to I've got to go. I've got I've got a number of blue suits at the dry cleaners, and and they close in just a little bit. I got. Oh my goodness. Up. Oh my. Well, yeah. you go did on. Did you know that I was voted most likely to wear a suit to the grocery store by my high school class? <laughs> I did not know that, but it makes it, perfect sense. Yeah, it does. It's a pleasure. <laughs> let, let me put Peter back on, but it, it's it's great talking to you, Ryan. It was great to talk to you, Walter. Thanks. And I, I hope I get to see see you again soon. Oh, me too. Absolutely. Awesome. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, Bye. Bye, Walter. Hey there. Oh, hi, Peter. <laughs> <laughs> Were you just sitting there that whole time? I'm sorry. No, I, I, I had to just go back in my living room. It's okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> I didn't even hear the vacuum. <laughs> it, it's one of these new models. It's insulated. It's very silent. It's a, oh. Um, right. 
Gotta get me one of those. <laughs> well, Peter, um, I don't know if I have any more questions at all. I oh, think... That's great, but I'm totally out of answers. Oh, good. You, did they all match up okay? Um, we got pretty lucky. <laughs> that tends to happen. You know, I, it, it, it's, it's remarkable, but uh, I guess I've done enough interviews now where I can sort of anticipate what's, com what's coming. <laughs> <laughs> well, Peter, if you want to say anything to the Muppet fans out there, you're welcome to. I don't know. It's, it's one fan to another. Um, I love, you know, I, I love these fan sites. I love uh, reading what people have to say about, uh, well, gosh, about anything Muppet. Although I will say I, I have, I have um, avoided reviews. I <laughs> <laughs> that's fair that's fair but, yeah i just like oh i don't, I don't need to know <laughs> but good or bad good or bad i just uh don't need to know but um, i do i i understand that it's, it's been really really well reviewed uh really well reviewed movie mm -hmm. and, uh, and right and deserve deservedly so i think i think that's just if i may say so <laughs> yes i agree if i may say so i'm we're both um, sort of biased but i think that's fine <laughs> uh and i just i i, I love muppet fans I mean, I, I am one, but, I mean, it, it wouldn't be the Muppets without the fans, you know? Exactly. That's why I do it. That's why you do it. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> All right, Peter. Well, thank you so much. You're welcome, Ryan. It was fun. Good. So. <laughs> was good. I'm glad you had a good time. I had fun, too. Good. And so that is the end of our interview, everyone. Thanks for listening.